Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with Hidden Journaling Cards. And so that is our next little thing that we need to do for this August Dollar Tree Assembly Line Junk Journal Challenge. And let's see, it's actually Dollar Store. So we've made our little thing that we need to do for this August Dollar Tree Assembly Line Junk Journal Challenge. And let's see, it's actually Dollar Store. So we've made our clusters, we made our envelope embell embellishments, we made our paper clips. Next is her hidden journal cards. So this is something that I saw Jessica over at um, Paper Terrace, used to be I'm a Cool Mom do, and she had seen Kara Brandon do it. So I am addicted. They are fun, they are different. I'm gonna be using some of the colorful daisies pages. You'll see me come back with these. And, but we're gonna start by using these four postcards. These postcards came from the Colorful Daisy and they are the Ephemera Medium. Okay, so they're from the page Ephemera Medium. And this is from Yellow Pages, from the e Bright Easter Egg Dyed Background Pages. And this is Yellow Page 091905 WGFD. So I've had people ask me, well, which one is that? Well, which one is that? So there you go. Those are what I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and turn my page over. You know what? Let's go ahead and cut this down because I think I can use less paper if we cut this down. If we could find the cutter. <laughs> there it is. The heavy breathing is chip. It's coming in to say hello. Okay, so we're going to just cut this. I've cut glue already on my fingers. I, all I was doing was I did go buy a large container of fabric tack and I filled up all the small containers. Um, so he's headbutting my arm, which means that they want to go outside, but I can't let them outside yet because Wiley or they dug a hole and Wiley can get out again. So I know that because she was at my front door this morning. Ugh, so rescue a dog and she's a pain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So we are going to go ahead and I have these postcards and I'm going to take uh, these three and what we're going to do is we're going to put glue around the edge of them. So right around the edge. Whoa. And place that down. And since we've already cleaned up the edges, we can go ahead and put it right up to the edge. So we are doing assembly line. So we're going to be doing all three of these. This is the simple one. And then I've come up with two more ways of um, making them. So you'll want to, to watch the, watch for that. That'll be the next two, but I wanted you to see what, what these are. I did these in the Christmas in July. A variety of sizes, a paper clip, a page, all kinds. I've done all kinds of things making these hidden journal spots. Okay. Okay. So I've got these all lined up. Lined up. Okay. And um, again, they are on a Dear Julie, Ju Julie Digital. Uh, you are to use a Dear Julie, Julie Digital in this challenge. So one of them will be a little shorter well now Wiley's visiting hello Wiley but she steals things <laughs> and then Chip tells her not to so that's what all that, that noise is no stop stealing stuff no she's a kleptomaniac <laughs> and she's saying hi No, don't get into that. Chip will get you. Chip's job keeps them in line. Okay, so this is um, how I do. I, I've uh, refined it to how I actually do this. And so, okay, so I have my three cards and they are glued on. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna come in and I'm going to just cut right down here on all three. And I'm gonna do all three because then I only have to pick up my scissors one time. That's, that's part of the assembly line thing is picking up your tools and things only one time. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here to my index cards that we chose. These are the ones from um, Target. I'm so sorry, I couldn't remember where I got them. Okay, and we need to figure out the size that we can fit of a card inside here. Okay. I'm gonna go with that size. So I'm trying to give you the page numbers of what I'm using or what they're called because um, I have several people that this time are actually following along. So they, they earned their colorful daisy kit at the VIP, which was the party that we did for those that finished their May journals, they earned this digital kit for free. So, um, so they can actually play along and then it is for sale also in the Etsy shop. So, um, okay. So that fits just like that. Now I'm going to cut it down just a little bit, just to make it a little easier. And I am going to go ahead and round my corners. Okay. And, um, because I need to check, because each one is individual, I'm only going to do this part for each one, one at a time. Okay, so, so that fits in there. I'm going to cut a little bit off. Then we'll go ahead and add our glue to this edge. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. I was going to dye paper, and I still might, I still might, actually, because I have something fun that I like to do. Okay, so there I put that back on and now that will pull off, we'll put it up there. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. And so just like that one, we're gonna go ahead, check our fitting, cut it down, round the corners. Put it in. Anybody have a dog that is a klepto? She just came in and stole something else. I'm gonna have to go see what she stole. There's so much stuff in here, I have no idea what she took. Okay, there's number two. And I'm just gonna figure that this one is not, I mean, the other two didn't fit, why would this one, right? I'll just go ahead and get it ready. So have you made these um, hidden journaling cards? Do you like making them? Okay, I gotta go see what Wiley is doing. But there we've got our first, first set of so three. Next we need to add a couple of things to, to our postcard or to our hidden journaling cards. Okay, so we have our little or double-sided so you can write on here and write on the inside, which I think is, it's pretty cool. So looking around at what we have on the desk, it's like, okay, so we've got these and we do have, We can do some little pieces of fabric under those, maybe. Do like a little, a little cluster. Okay. 
Okay. That gives me three of those. Okay, one, two. Okay, so there's that. Actually, if we turn it over the other way. I, I am a big fan of clusters. I, I love them. Okay. So now the other thing that we'll be using, because I have to, I'm using this on my covers, is this curtain. Okay. So I have a piece of curtain and it's got this really cute lace edge on it and I think we'll go ahead and grab some of that lace um, So if you use a linen or a cloth on your cover, you can also use it in the journal. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these three of these off, three of these pieces, one, two, three. Okay. And then the other we'll put up in our, our stuff and this can go. So I'm going to put this on here and okay, so this one has a flower. Okay. And I'm going to put it on like this. Okay. I want to pull this out so we don't compromise that. And I'm going to go ahead and staple it here and here. Okay. And then I can, should be able to just put that back in, <laughs> should be able to just put that back in there, but that little cluster will help to hide the hidden closure. Okay. And it's on the edge and you want to make sure that you do something about making sure you're staples are all the way down into the paper just so you don't there we go okay so i'm going to go ahead do the same thing for the other three and we'll be right back okay so we have our first three hidden journaling space hidden journaling space cards ready Okay, just like that. One, two, three. We'll pop those up here. These are our extra pieces and we can go ahead and move on to our next one. So each of the elements does need to have three things happening to it. Now that can be the staples. It can be, um, you know, by adding fabric. If you sewed it, that would be, that would count as well. Okay, so next I have um, side by side and we're going to go ahead and we're going to use, we've got three of them. We're going to go ahead and fold this in half. Okay, fold it in half to start with. And we're going to be cutting it down. Okay. So I'm going to cut this side. And then I need this side to be under five inches. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and cut these edges first. If your computer, if your computer, if your printer prints um, borderless, then on these 
uh, you might go ahead and print them borderless. Mine, for some reason, won't read that. It won't. It won't do it. <laughs> it won't do it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's do. Um, I'm gonna do five inches. Five inches. Okay. And then I'm gonna save this because I, can, I probably can use that somewhere. These ones, not so much, okay? So there I have my card, and where'd the rest go? Okay, they're over here, okay? So let's go ahead, do the same thing, and we'll go ahead and do this. So I want to welcome you to the Dear Julie Julie channel. Uh, if you did not know, we use the premiere format here, and we have a new video every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. And we use that premiere format so that we can have a live chat. So every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time, we are here with a live chat. You can join us in that live chat by hitting that live chat button. Come on over, say hello, um, introduce yourself so that we can get to know you. Um, we also have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. If you are going to be joining there, make sure you answer the questions. Um, we do that for your safety, for everyone's safety. Um, we want to make sure that uh, you answer the questions and so that Joyce, our gatekeeper, can let you in. And there's also a free digital in the files section there while we are home, safe at home. It's a full digital kit, full Dear Julie Julie digital kit. Um, we do a challenge here each month. This is part of what I'm working on here today. This is our August dollar store assembly line junk journal challenge. And the details for this challenge, um, the, de the link for the details videos in the description box down below. So we do that. We do a new challenge each month. We're here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. We have our Facebook group. We have a separate group each month for each challenge. Also have a Patreon where there is more fun, more interaction, more digitals. And um, yeah, so that's that's what we have going on. And now we're gonna move on to the next part of this. Okay, so we have, uh, I used a side-by-side -side page. So I have, and it's only printed on one side. And now I have a giant card. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue around my card. glue around my card and because it's assembly line I'll be doing all three okay. so for this one we are using Daisy pages side by side seven this is from the colorful daisies from the pages um, side by side pages, page seven is what I have printed to use here. So if you're following along and you want to do the same thing that I'm doing here, that is what we're doing. Okay. So going quite a bit bigger than what we did on the other okay so have you come up with other ways of making hidden journaling cards make sure that you share them in the scrap all about it with dear julie julie facebook group um, also, uh, heads up, there will be a collaboration coming up for the fall. Um, Dear Julie Julie and Kara Branding Creations. It's a lot of fun when we do these, you guys. Um, we will reveal our kits at the end of August. And so they will be available uh, for you to purchase at the end of August. And the collaboration is going to be celebrating the fall in September. So the way these work is this time we'll have seven days of digitals 
and you use the page, the day one of the Dear Julie Julie Digital and the day one of Kara Brandon Digital and you share it and we all share them and it's a lot, it's a lot of fun and they have been great digitals to work with also. Okay, so still waiting for those to dry, but you can see we've got the same, the same idea is happening here. Um, I am going to go ahead and use my scoreboard for this part. If you don't have one, you can, you're going to be able to just fold it, but I'm going to use my scoreboard to get a better, a better line, a better crease. Okay. So I'm going to look at my, my pages and, um, looks like this is going to be a good background with this piece flipping up or that background with this piece flipping up. So I'm going to background pink and pink or pink and pink or purple and yellow. I'm going to go with purple and yellow. Okay. So here we go. Now I want to take a, one of these. So I am going to go ahead and if I fold at two, I'll be at four. You'll see all that. If I go to two and a quarter, we'll be at four and a half. You'll still see all that. That's what we're going to do. Two and a quarter. Okay. So I'm going to do this at two and a quarter and I'm going to turn it to the other side as well. Okay. And I decided to go with this. Okay, so I'm going to have a fold up here. Sometimes if you fold both ways, you'll get a better, a better crease. Okay. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay. So that's what we're doing next. So two and a quarter. And so this part up. Okay. So the blue with the purple up two and a quarter, turn it over two and a quarter. This part up two and a quarter, two and a quarter. Okay. I'm still using the bone folder. Okay, so flip it up. Kind of like that side though. But this, I don't know. What do you, I love that. I, I think I like this side better. I'm going with that side. It's my prerogative. I can change my mind. Okay, so I am making a pocket here. Okay. There we go. There we go. And so originally I was thinking about doing the hidden here and having a, but it, it will be such a small, I don't know. You know what? Let's do it anyway. Right? Okay. Um, so we need our cutter. Okay. So I'm going to cut from the top. Okay. So there's that. And I'm going to cut from this piece also. Now from this piece, I'm going to just, I'm not going to cut as big of a piece as we've been cutting, but I want to make sure that I can still, oh yeah, go ahead and cut big you guys. Cause otherwise, oh, you know what? Yeah, 
you need to cut bigger. You don't, you're glued together here. So I can get something in there. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut across here. And I'm gonna cut a little more on this one. There's no glue at the bottom of this one, so I, I'm gonna be able to go all the way down. Okay, and our last one. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so for at the top, we can use one of our um, index cards. Okay, so you can use an index card. Go ahead and put it on there. Okay, it's gonna fit. I'm gonna use a blue index card because that's uh, what was on the top. Okay. Oh, forgot to put my glue on the other side. I don't know if that would matter a whole lot, but it's the way we've been doing it and it's been working, so. Okay, set it up against. Pull it out. Okay. There's one. There's going to be two. Oh, let's put this over here so we keep track of which ones got cut off of which ones. one. Okay. So many of you are already deciding that you didn't make your covers big enough, I see. Now you can do, um, because I did not specify that you needed to do nine of them, three different styles, you don't have to, you can make all nine of your things exactly the same, but I challenge you within the challenge to try and do three different things. I'm gonna do three different things, but that's because I wanna make sure that I'm giving you um, more ideas. Um, so you do not have to do exactly as I'm doing, but you do need to make hidden, like you do need to make nine clusters. You do need to make nine paper clips. You do need to make, um, nine of most of the items and so and they're listed in the video and in the instructions in the, the group as well as um, Darlene has made a really nice little checkoff thing that you can use That's, I'm using that this time okay there we go. And my, unfortunately, this is the wrong side of my, so you're gonna be able to see that, but it's gonna be okay on this time because of what I'm doing. Okay, so now we're gonna come back and we wanna add something down to the bottom. And so I'm gonna kind of get an idea of what we've got here, how deep we can go. Is that about half? It's about half, okay. And then, we can also have a, a just a smidge, smidge, just a smidge out of the top. So, cutter. Okay. 
and the extra pieces can go over there. Let's just measure this. It's one and a one and a half. One and five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, one and five eighths. Sorry, I hadn't hadn't counted the lines on this one to know where we're at. So we'll need a third blue card. I'm gonna use blue cards on the top and the bottom. So one and five eighths. So you fix figure out the first one and then the other two you can just go ahead and put in and you can just go ahead and cut so that's what the advantage of assembly line or mass making is I'm calling it assembly line because it's August <laughs> and you know how I am okay so I'm gonna figure out that I need it mine to be cut here let's go ahead and we'll cut the first one just like we did before and measure where we're going to be going with that. It's going to be like four and a quarter. And you saw we were able to use our little green piece. So we'll go ahead and put that over there and four and a quarter and cut these two. I was looking at reading my um, instructions and boy, autocorrect sure got me in the in the instructions and I've got to go back in and, and fix some of those things in there. So let's go ahead, we're gonna um, do our corner rounder on these. It makes it easier to put these in the pocket. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and put this in. Remember, just out a smidge on these. Okay. So I'm gonna, whoop, I want the lines showing when you do pull it out. Okay, in, put it up there because that's the, the one that it's from. There we go. Okay, now come over here. open this up you see we just have a smidge hanging out here we're gonna just put some glue on the smidge smidge glue on the smidge okay I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out I don't want to get glue Get that, get that in there. It's giving me a hard time, you guys. So there's that, there's that, and that's our first one. come down here I'm gonna put glue here and glue here but not on the flap that we're pulling out because then you won't be able to pull it out right okay and hold it down so this is gonna give me a double pocket or a pocket and a tuck with double hidden journaling space so we'll have journaling space here and journaling space here. And remember, you can cut that down if you're having trouble. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Open. Okay, if I lay that down. figure out what direction it goes in and then I should be able to figure out where I'm supposed to be able to open this.
if you're here at the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. And don't forget, we have a live chat if you are here at the 1030 Pacific Standard Time premiere. And we'd love to have you join us. So come on over and join us in the live chat. Just hit that live chat button right up there and come on over and say hello. Okay. I'm working on elements for the August challenge here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. And we are making hidden journal spaces. Hidden journal. Okay. So in there, in there, pull this out. Yeah, making these um, journaling spots bigger is going to be, or this, the holder part here, bigger is going to be helpful. Okay. So helpful. <laughs> so, so helpful. Okay. We're going to let that dry. And let's move on to this one. Pull it out a little bit. Oh, let's, let's find its. Find the opening and open it. Then put glue on the edge, right on the edge on this one because we don't have much room on this one at all. Okay, make sure we have the right side and put this on. Okay, put it down. And we'll let that one dry. Okay. How are we doing here? Okay. So we still need to add our three items. Oops, that's backwards. There we go. Okay. So our three, three things that we need to do. Of our curtain and I think we'll go ahead and go along I wonder if I can I wonder if I can rip this let's let's see yeah okay good okay Where's our one that... Okay. Um, I like that. I think we're going to go with this across there. You see my pocket is already not sticking. So... going to switch to fabric tech. Okay. I'm going to pull my pocket out. And I'm going to add fabric tech right along towards the bottom edge of this pocket. So there, I love it. Okay. Oh, my, like, why 
is that I don't want to be on. Okay, so there we go. We have our, our first edition of the little piece of lace. And then um, I have over here, now remember you can use any Dear Julie Julie digital. And a while back, I printed off some of the flinch card kit at three and a half by five. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little flinch card. And I don't know what happened to my pink and white scissors. Those are, I don't wanna use my, my good scissors there. So we'll be doing the same thing to all three and I'm just cutting off three flinch cards to have those ready. Okay, so let's do our, our other two. They get their pocket um, put down. Okay. And you could go ahead and add a gusseted pocket here if you wanted to, obviously I mean, it's your, <laughs> Your journal, you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my other two pieces of the lace. Again, this is from the curtain that I'm using to cover the journals. And so you can use any, any junk to make your covers. Um, and then you can use the scraps from your junk to put in your journals. It's really the only place that you're gonna get fabric unless you purchase fabric at your dollar store and it's part of your 20, okay? Okay, so there's the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out so it can dry and add the third one. So for the next, the next one, I'll just do one, um, and know that normally we, you know, we do it, um, assembly line style, but will it be here forever if I do all three of it? So if you're watching along and you, um, you can just watch it, that part of it a few times. There's our, okay. Now, up at the top, This side seems to come in and be really um, in good shape there. I think we'll use this side and I think I'm going to come in with my stencil. So this is the stencil that I got at Dollar Tree. So it's part of my 20. And your dollar store stuff can be from the dollar spot at at a store. Okay, so and I have this that's now junk. And I have this that I can use that's junk. Okay, so let's see. Okay, if I'm Careful. There. Okay. And um, let's see. You can use any inks this time. Okay. 
This one might be, I thought that was my other yellow. <laughs> Mustard seed. I think mustard seed is going to be a good one. And do we have a yellow? Not yet. I'll use the green and then I can. Okay, put this back where I want it. Okay, so I'm going to finish this one um, and then we'll. Okay, so I'm going to stencil. That gives us my second thing. Just a little bit of stenciling. Okay, and then I have this. Well, we can add a bling down here. Pink, blue. No, I didn't want to use the greens because I wanted to save those for me, but I really think that the green is the color that needs to be down there. Okay, so this is gonna pull up. This is gonna pull up. I do want to put something up here though. What if we, we brought this off the edge over here? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, if we brought this off the edge and this off the edge up there. Okay, I definitely like that off the edge. Do we have three? No, because this one would have to go off the other edge. Okay, so much for that. We do have more lace. Flower, flower, where's the flower? So I need to make, I need to watch a video and make some more of those. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and commit. So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do a piece of lace, a flinch card, a flower and a bling. Okay, so we'll be doing that. So stenciling, bling, lace, flinch card, flower, bling. That's what we'll be doing for that one. And now, <laughs> and then I'll be finishing, I'll make the, uh, I'll do the other two. And so for our next this time, we are going to go to the side. So I have printed, this is Daisy page side, no Daisy. And this is from pages Daisy side three. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut down this page. right at that, right there, okay? So cut down this page right there, right at that edge. 
Okay, we'll set this aside and we'll use it. We're gonna use that for, for something different. Then we're gonna get into our um, scrap of paper. Okay, so this is my scrap of paper pad. I have an old paper pad here. I'm gonna use one of these pages. I hope that didn't move. Okay, this side. Separate this from the back. Paper. Put that down. Okay, and then we're gonna come in with this and I'm gonna cut this um, no, I'm gonna leave that white edge. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and glue this and put it on here. So we're gonna take it, glue it all the way around, just like we've been doing on the smaller ones. And go ahead and put it onto our scrapbook paper. And I'll be right back because it sounds like the pig is in the front yard. <laughs> the neighbor's pig just roams the neighborhood and it likes our front yard because we have grass and trees and water. Okay, so I'll be doing this for all three of them and then we'll, be, we'll go ahead and cut that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and let it dry. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I love that, that page from this, from this kit. I just absolutely love that page. Okay. Um, and with that, I believe we are committing to, to this as one of my 20. So when this is dry, I'm going to come in and go ahead and cut down a piece. If you have some place on the, looks like if I cut it right along the edge of this daisy. Okay, right there. Okay. And now I need to okay so what I have for inside is I can use the yellow like we used before there we go and you know what I'm thinking if you just go ahead and cut your piece the size of this then um, you should be I'm going to cut it just a little bit less than the size of that because we have three of these how how much how long is that we have eight and a quarter inches three goes in two six I'm gonna go two and a half inch is that enough yeah it's well, um, we go two and three quarters, at least on two of them, and then whatever's left on the third one, right? Two and three quarters. If I mark it, yeah, okay, we can do two and three quarters. That's because I'm trying to use what I've got. Yeah, you know, that's what I. That's one of the things I do here. Is I do use all my, my scraps and my pieces. So one of them will be a little longer and that is fine. And so the next thing we would do is go ahead and round the corners on the edge of two of them, or two of the edges here. There we go. A 
assembly line, even though we're kind of, okay. Then we're gonna put this inside here. Okay, side. And make sure we can open that. Go ahead and do this. So here you'll have a large tag. Um, could also be like, could be a border, could go on the side, like as a border, um, which was one of the things I was thinking about doing with this one. But um, I used, I used good paper on the back for journaling. So Okay, so if you were to put this on the side of a page, then what I would do is go ahead and put it up against the side, but only put your glue here, here, and here. And then you're able to pop this off, okay? So um, we are gonna go ahead and glue this down, or glue the trim that we picked out. So I have some of that llama, llama trim that I think is perfect for the, the Daisy Journal. All so bright and cheery and, okay. So I'm um, straightening it out, my fingernail, a little bit because it's very curly. Okay. And I'm using fabric tack. Remember you can use any of your adhesives, your glues. I still might put this in as a border. Uh, I, need to get, I need to find the other scissors. They're probably down on the floor. Okay, so we've added one little touch to it. Ooh, I love it. Okay, and this is what you've got as far as a journaling spot. Hidden journaling spot, love it. Okay, I'm gonna add bling. Right up here. I like that. And I think I'm gonna add a flower over here to the edge with our dots. So we'll go ahead and this is gonna give us our third thing. And we'll go ahead and also add a green dot to the center. That's my favorite right there. Okay, so that is, it can be either a large tag, but my, I, my thinking for this was to go ahead and put it down. You see, I left the full size of the page. And so I can put this down in at the edge of a page, like I showed you. So if this was the page, put it down so it's flush with the edge our, um, the little pom-poms will stick out and I'll go ahead and glue this down like this. And that will also give us a little pocket on the inside. Okay. So that is number three. Go ahead and put that down. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead, clean up the desk and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we have. We have our three little postcards with our little cluster and the yellow back, purple index inside. This is for our hidden journal, hidden journaling cards, okay? So this is a pocket that we can go ahead and either put throughout our journal. You can go ahead and um, paper clip it into your journal, or you can actually glue it and glue it by gluing it here. And we have hidden, hidden journaling space on top and a little hidden journaling spot down here as well. And so that just fits right in there. And we also have some stenciling. We have lace and a flinch card and our little flower embellishment. So there are 
three of these. Remember, we're making three journals. And you can see I switched it up and did the daisy stencil on these other two. And that's okay. You can do you can do a variety. Um, just do the each of the steps. Okay. So next we have our large card and it is backed. Whoops. It's supposed to be backed <laughs> with this, but it's okay because it's going on to a border in mine. Um, and so you have your hidden journaling space here. And it's, this one's really easy to get in and out. Um, we have our pom-pom trim here, some bling, and our flower for our three embellishments. And so that gives us that. And I'll put that one as the example of the back because I, again, I'm going to be putting mine onto a page and this will pop out. It'll be a border tuck. Okay, so it'll have a border tuck put glue here, here, and here, this will be able to pop in and out, and this will hang off the edge. Okay, so there we go. That is my three hidden journal card ideas. Again, this could also be a tag, a large tag with a job. Um, large tag with a job, you're going to be making something that's bigger than seven inches, and or comes to less than an inch from the top of your journal, and also the job part means that it does something else. It's not just a tag sitting in your journal. It has a pocket. It has a little booklet. It opens up. It does something. It has a job. Okay, so that's going to be um, one of our next things is large tags with a job. So there you go. Um, make sure that if you like this video, if you learned anything, that you give it a thumbs up. Please come back and watch or please come back and comment. Um, tell us which one was your favorite. And if you have ever made the hidden journal spots before and which way of making them is your favorite. And then don't forget to go watch another video after this one. It can be any video on YouTube because YouTube really likes it. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. We're here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time with that live chat. We'd love to have you join us. Bye. Bye-bye.